Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love by Chetanas Nuri and today we're gonna root and install the TWRP custom recovery on the Galaxy J5 2015 edition and my device is the J500F and we are doing this because the Lineage OS needs the Lollipops uh, firmware and the Nick was TWRP custom recovery to work so we're gonna install that today and before we get into it i would just like to give a huge shout out to my friend who has just joined the youtube a month or two ago he is a travel vlogger and the videos must be amazing because traveling is just amazing so link to his channel will be right away here and the name of his channel is the Arantian traveler and a fancy name no so let's get into it so first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in settings and check out the software info so you have the android version 5.0.1 so we're just gonna tap on the build number and until we have the we have this developer mode has been enabled and we're gonna go in developer options and we're gonna unlock the OEM unlocking and also USB debugging so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off our device so first of all what we're gonna do in the phone is we're gonna put it in download mode to do that we're just gonna press volume down key home key and power key at the same at the same time and now we're going to let go of the power key and we're going to press the volume up key to continue and moving on to the PC we're just going to we're just going to connect our device to PC now so as you can see over here is a blue light that indicates that the phone is connected now and we're going to click on AP now and we're going to find this file the CF auto root file over here and we're going to start the process So the now, now the device will reboot and root itself. So for some reason my device's screen went green and then it was restarted and I think now the phone is rooted so that is really strange for me but the phone is rooted now. So sometimes the screen may get green in your device as well so you might want to look out for that but as you can see we have the super su over here and we're gonna go with the new user over here and we're gonna disable the nox so the nox is successfully disabled and the device is rooted now so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the twrp custom recovery and to do that we're just gonna power off our device once again We're gonna boot into the download mode and to do that we're just gonna press volume down key home key and power key at the same time and now we're gonna press volume up key to continue and once again we're gonna move on to the pc and we're gonna connect our device to the pc once again and as you can see there's a blue light again so now we're gonna locate this file over here and twrp 3.0.2 and my device is the j500f so my file is this over here and we're gonna go in options and we're gonna uncheck the auto reboot and we're gonna start the process and as the process is passed we are going to remove our device from the PC and we're gonna remove the battery for 10 seconds And we're gonna reinsert it and boot into the custom recovery and to do that we're just gonna press volume up key home key and power key at the same time and now we're gonna let go of the power key and as you can see we have the custom recovery over here the twrp custom recovery and this was this simple and we're gonna uh, install the super soon now and I think that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share the video. And also don't forget to check out my friend's channel, The Arantian Traveler. And thanks for watching, guys.